In this video, I'm going to walk you through using the updated script I've created to add web parts to jQuery UI tabs. Um, the link to my blog with the script can be found below in the description, and this solution works in SharePoint 2010, 2013, and in Office 365. So let's go ahead and quickly get started. Uh, the first thing I want to do is take the script from my blog page and I want to put it into a file in our site assets document library on our SharePoint site. So here we are in Office 365 and I'm going to open the site up in SharePoint Designer and go to my site assets directory from there. Uh, from here I'm going to create a new asset, a JavaScript file, and I will call this script hillbillytabs2.js and from here I'm going to edit this file and paste in the script from my blog and that's what you're seeing here again the link for this the blog is in the description below I just pasted the script it's there you can see that we have uh, jQuery UI CSS file uh, jQuery min jQuery, jQuery UI and we also have this jQuery.cookie file that we're using to store what the active tab should be. And then when the page loads, we're calling this hillbilly tabs function, which will do all of uh, the magic for us. So let's go ahead and save this script. And let's go back into our SharePoint site. And I'm going to create a page. So let's go to my site pages library. and I want to add a new web part page and we'll call it as well hillbilly tabs 2 we're going to put it in site pages and let's create it so now I want to add a few web parts to the page let's add let's add a link to our We'll add the site, uh, site assets. So here's our list of site assets. Let's also add, how about site pages? And finally, let's add another web part for, how about our uh, zip codes, master zip code? So you can see we have three web parts on the page, one for those zip codes, one for my site pages, and one for my site assets. So what we want to do now, let's add a content editor web part to this page. Media and content, content editor. And let's link it to that script that I uploaded to the site assets library. So let's edit the web part. And let's link to it. And that was in site assets. I call it, call it Hillbilly Tabs 2. Let's go ahead and apply that. And you can see that it put all of those web parts into tabs. So now we have a tab for master zip code, site pages, and site assets. That's because when you use the hillbilly tabs function with no parameters it's just going to take all the web parts in the page and put them put them into tabs now if we want to have more control over how those tabs are created you can still use it like we used it before where you can specify which web parts you want to appear so let's say that i just want the site pages and site assets web parts to be in tabs but not for some reason that zip code I can call the function where we pass in the web parts that we want to appear as tabs as an array of those web part titles so now if I save the script and I refresh the page we see that we have a tab for site assets and site pages and then the master zip list is outside of the tabs now. So you have a couple of different ways to use it. So let me show you one more feature that I've added. I had a lot of people asking me to add more than one web part to a tab. So I added the ability to, to do that as well. 
and that it requires you to do a little work with the array of web parts you pass in because now it's looking for a special string. So what you need to pass in if you want to have multiple web parts in a tab is you want to pass in the title for what do you want the title of that tab to be and then you use a semicolon pound sign for a split for a divider and you put in the title of the web part so I want to do site pages and then another semicolon pound sign for the other web part I want to show so I also want to do site assets in that and you could actually do three or four if you wanted to but I just want to show one tab that has both site pages and site assets and now the other tab I want to be that master zip what was it you'd think I would know that by now it is master zip code so I'll make the, the second tab it will have master zip code in it Does that make sense so you need to have this semicolon pound sign separated string where the first entry is the title for the tab and then the other entries are the web part titles that you want to be in that tab and if you just want one web part in there all you do have to do is pass in the title of that web part so let's save that Refresh your page one, page one more time. And we can see that under that first tab, we, it has the title of tab title, because that's the title we told it to have, where it has both site pages and site assets within that tab. And then there is the master zip code tab that just has the master zip code. All right, so here's three different ways to use the script. Um, there's also a few other enhancements from the previous script before. There were a few issues that I fixed. I would recommend using this script if you're having issues with the other script that I had before. Uh, that's all there is to it. Good luck.